The room was just as I expected, big enough to sleep after a long sightseeing day. The bed was comfortable, though a little bit small for two, but it was not critical, it was warm and really quiet. I know this a budget place, but this is not an excuse for everything. I don backslashed mind that the house looks old and worn out, as long as you can sleep properly and have a shower. However, the bed has a party broken bed frame on both sides, like in the picture, so the it room backslashed- room was of an excellent size, probably not too dissimilar to the average travel lodge, albeit without the attached shower room. It was relatively quiet late on, which meant that unlike most other budget places I have stayed in the past, mainly hostels, I actually got a decent night's sleep. On the first day a woman who I believe had just been cleaning the house just let herself into my room without knocking or even asking if it was okay to come in. It was obvious that someone was in the room as the keys were in the doors of the rooms not occupied, and mine was not in the door. The place was neat and clean, close to the tube station. The kitchen was full of cornflakes, even though we were eating out mostly, it was good to know there is an alternative, in case of sudden hunger. We had very comfortable bed, the area was very quiet and interesting. There really isn't much to complain as far as the property is concerned. Perhaps some would find the distance from the nearest tube station a little long, but rest assured it isn't outrageously long.